Hey everybody, it's Mick here. Today uh, I'm going to do a uh, short review and demo of the new juicer we bought. So we decided uh, we were going to try to try to add to our health and start juicing. So here's what we got. So I bought the, uh, the Cuisinart. There's a manual on it. It's a Cuisinart CJE1000. I bought ours from uh, JCPenney for, I think it was on sale for 150 bucks. So it's pretty easy. See, it's got an on and off button here. Push the button in the middle, turn it on and off. Speed selector. Uh, let me unplug it, I'll take it apart. Here is the juice collector. And it has a, a little foam, foam separator in there that you can leave in or take out, depending on if you uh, like or don't like foam. And it holds uh, roughly a thousand milliliters, which is there you go, 32 ounces. Here is the uh, little spigot, so when you're juicing you turn it on. When you're done, turn it off so it don't drip out on your counter. Pretty easy. The uh, pulp collection bin is right here. Pretty big one. And then uh, here's a little pusher dealy. And then to open this thing up, it's really easy to clean. You just pull this handle. Top lifts up, comes off. You can rinse that guy out, and this pulls out. I can't do it with one hand here. Hold on. There we go. So this part pulls out, and this pulls out, and then you just clean everything independently. This comes with a little brush right here that you got to use to scrub it out. So I'll kind of show you that when we uh, we're going to do some juice here. So uh, let me get it put back together, and we'll uh, make some juice with it. All right, buddy, what kind of juice we're gonna be making this morning? Orange juice. Orange juice. The kids want some orange juice, so we got our oranges peeled, and I'm gonna show you this thing so easy a six-year-old can do it. So go ahead, buddy, start making your orange juice. Put more in there. Here, I'll hold this part for you. Go ahead. Put them in there. Just put them in there. You can put a whole thing in there. Just put them in there. Chunk them in there. Chunk them in there. Keep going. Uh, I don't know, we did about six oranges and we got about 16 ounces of juice so as you can see it takes a lot of, a lot of fruit to make a little bit of juice so it's just that easy so also uh, I know a lot of people don't like juicers because they feel like they have a lot of waste because there's uh, we made about uh, I don't know 32 ounces of juice this morning and that's how much uh, the uh, waste we got left or whatever you know the pulp so uh, I have done some reading and there's a lot of stuff you can do with that uh, other than we, we compost so a lot of it's going to go to our, our worms we got a composting worm bin that we feed all that stuff to but uh, you can also add it to soups add it to uh, spaghetti sauce and stuff like that just to add a little extra fiber into your diet so uh, do some reading about that and then you don't feel like you waste as much as that stuff uh, they claim you get 95% of the nutrients and vitamins out of the juice just by, uh, or the veg fruit and vegetables by juicing them. So as far as the nutritional part, I guess you're not really wasting much. So, uh, and also, <clears throat> I'm new to juicing. This is my first juicer I ever bought. Uh, so I guess, you know, officially, it seems like it works fine. It's easy to clean. I don't, uh. I don't not make juice just because I don't look forward to cleaning up the machine. I'm, it's, it's, it takes me literally two minutes to clean it up. 
and uh, the ex you know the the big thing I'm looking at is how expensive it's going to be for the fruits and vegetables because you don't get as much juice as I would have thought out of them. Uh, I did let's see this morning we did uh, six or eight oranges, uh, half a pound, and that was that six or eight oranges made about uh, twelve ounces of juice. Uh, again, it's going to depend on how juicy your fruit is, too. We're still coming out of winter time, so stuff's kind of off-season. That could be why some of this stuff's not as juicy as it usually is. But the second batch, we did uh, half a pound of uh, carrots, uh, a beet, and about six apples. And uh, see, there's there's the juice there that that made, and uh, which was almost a full container of juice. So, uh, you know, we're going to hit the local fruit stands in that when... Uh, when the season gets rolling around and get the fruit that's that's in season that's the cheapest and, and vegetables and, and go that route but uh, back to the juicer you know it's a it's a centrifugal juicer so I know there's some people that uh, uh, from what I've read they don't care for the centrifugal juicers they like the ones that I guess crush the fruit and vegetables and that to get the juice out but this is what I can afford. This is uh, what was on sale and looked like a good juicer. Cuisinart's a good name, so I went and bought it. So, uh, so far, I have no complaints. Uh, the only thing I have found with it is when I'm pushing uh, the fruits and vegetables down in there, if I have, you know, you can put them like almost if the apples will fit in the top, you can almost put a whole apple in there. But you don't want to just like jam it down in there because then it just kind of gets thrown right off with that little centrifugal thing and you'll have some big chunks that come off and uh, you don't really get as much juice so I kind of push slowly when I'm doing that and I found that it does a lot better job so anyway you know if you're thinking about getting into juicing for the price and uh, how well it works how easy it is to clean I think this is a good juicer so uh, you know we'll see how this goes and if we like it we might upgrade down the road thanks for watching